Hello, this is the Trades at US Stocks and Futures Market Preview for uh, Wednesday, 17th of February 2022 and Thursday the 18th. As usual, we won't typically do a market preview for Fridays by themselves as most of the week has played out. It's been a very boring week and this Friday in particular is options expiration, so I'm not expecting uh, much out of it. So we'll just... Uh, Leave it at that. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures. Sorry, that's the uh, current. There we go. Now we look at the daily chart of continuous. Uh, you know, kind of nowhere. Sitting where we were last August. Um, still in the downtrend line. Under the downtrend line. No signals, no counts that matter. We'll go from there. So, uh, so the S&P gained three points today. <sighs> By uh, NASDAQ was down 17, which is a blip, obviously, for the NASDAQ. The SOX was up 1, also a blip. Biotech's down 13.07, also a blip. Again, everybody's kind of waiting on Ukraine. It's important, these wars. Uh, Russ, Russell 2000 up 2.84 points. If, if nothing, you know, you got to wait for, uh, you know, there's going to be a major impact if this does break out in a war over there, especially to the price of oil, and that's going to then have a costly situation here as well so uh crude oil down two dollars and 43 cents to 91.23 gold up a dollar to 1870 looks pretty strong there finally it's not that the inflationary stuff has really woken up the gold stuff is when the ukraine situation started to light up advanced decline ratio on the nasdaq plus 246 so kind of flat on the new york a little more positive um, plus 888 or 888 yep NASDAQ volume was 4.2 billion shares at the close. That's light. Again, we've been really seeing a downtick in the volume, again, partially because of everybody holding their breath on this Ukraine situation. We finally got a trend number at 1.38. That puts the 10-day moving average back at 0.9. Uh, but remember, we had four or five days there where it was under 0.85. That is a sell signal on the broad market, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the VIX down $1.41 to 24.29. Apple closes down 24 cents. Amazon uh, up 31.8, Facebook down $4.46, Google gains 22.59, Goldman Sachs down $3.89 on the day, Netflix down $9.38. Most of these are blips for these stocks. I mean, you can see it doesn't even move the chart. Peloton down $1.20 after being up. Last week, it's kind of come back a bit. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, up 80 cents. So a bounce off the lows there. We do have a 13 buy signal in place. We're still above the risk line there. Tesla, uh, up 96 cents. Doesn't mean anything on Tesla. And Zoom down $8.39. That does not look pretty on the Zoom chart. Bitcoin sits at 43,940 as I do this. It is what it is. Let's look at the intraday action so you can see the five-minute charts again. Tuesday we gapped up big and then we were just dead flat all day and then here on Wednesday a very tiny gap down went a little bit lower for about five minutes and then look how flat that is for basically four plus hours four hours right until you get to the 2 p.m. coming out of lunch they release the Fed minutes from the last meeting the market spikes a bit settles down and you get a flat close at the end so the gaps filled and all that stuff but uh, we still haven't filled the gap from below that was uh, Tuesday's open from Monday's close. We'll see if that pops up soon. Um, so that's really it. I mean, again, options expiration um, on Friday. So that's going to hold things back a bit. In terms of economic data here in the US, the U.S. still coming out the rest of the week, we've got uh, the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers, housing starts and building permits all an hour before the bell on Thursday. Natty Gas at 10.30 Eastern, and then the uh, got some Fed members speaking. And then on Friday, you've got um, Canada's got their retail sales here in the U.S. that we just have existing home sales and CB leading index, and then a lot more Fed folks speaking. Everybody's got an opinion this week, right? Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, oh, by the way, i got to remind you, Monday's a holiday, right? President's Day, so the market's closed on Monday, and Friday's options expiration. What a great time for to be worried about Ukraine if there starts to light up, you know, with options expiring on a three-day weekend where nobody can do anything about it. You watch. Let's just see how that picks up. It just seems to be that that's how this stuff plays. 
Um, but either way, I, I wouldn't expect much on Friday because of the options expiration unless Ukraine breaks open and you got a long weekend. Brought to you by East Signal. Have a good day.